Well, happy Earth Day again, Contro Valley. We have some clouds and some windy conditions in our forecast. That kicks off the first weather headline with storms that's going to kick in. That's the second thing that brings it starts off Saturday night. I'll show you how that's going to be panning out for us with scattered storms Saturday into Monday. The rain is finally here across the Contro Valley right in time, and we need it. Temperatures cooler thanks to the rainfall as well. Now, the wind's been a talk all throughout today, and you can see they're out in the south. Some gusty conditions, seeing 20 miles per hour winds for most of the Contra Valley, 28 miles out of the south in Ozona, 20 here in Tom Green, 25 in Ronald's County and Ballinger, 27 in Robert Lee, 22 in Sterling City. The winds are going to continue to be a factor, and that's why we're seeing right now under a wind advisory from started this evening around 1 p.m. and it's going to run through Saturday at 3 a.m. in the morning. Gusty winds. Definitely make sure you don't leave anything loose in your yard. The winds are going to continue to be a factor as this low pressure system moves across the plains. This is a strong system. Notice how tight the pressure gradient is. These lines right here in Isobars is going to continue to go towards the northeast. And with that, everywhere from extending its west into our region is going to have some gusty winds. Notice gusts up to 50 miles per hour today. And you probably felt it, even though kept us warm with the cloud cover staying in our forecast. Not seeing breaks until later the afternoon. Kept some of us in the 80s. But look at the winds. They slacked down after Monday. We'll still be holding on to the rain fall though but the windy conditions will be moving back in the forecast as we look at next week and now that dry line is out to our west sparking up some showers and some storms are ready for the panhandle we're quiet here most of us in the contra valley having some cloud cover moving in again in the portions of eastern texas but already seeing a severe thunderstorm warning for portions just north of almorello um, north of interstate 40 they're going to be going on throughout much of the afternoon thanks to that dry line as this low pressure system over the four corners region gets closer to us, we're going to see some more activity for areas in the panhandle and for us into the next couple hours. Temperatures right now, pretty warm and nice. Lower 80s, looking like or northern 80s for El Dorado, 87 for Fort McCavin, 85 for Robert Lee. All of us, nice and warm, thanks to that blanket of cloud cover. But now, let's get serious and talk about what we can see this weekend. Well, this is the severe outlook. One marginal risk. With that, we can see these following impacts. So speaking of hail, gusty winds, and well-needed rain, but some of us could get a little more over than the itch, so localized flooding is possible. Heavy rain in these thunderstorms as they move through Saturday evening into Sunday. That looks like a scattered day overall. And let's talk about potential rainfall. Well, it looks like this for us. We've been waiting for the rain. We're going to get some well-needed rain throughout much of the area. Most of us being roughly in the one to two inches as we go into the next couple of days. That's extending from Saturday into Sunday and Monday. Looking well for most of us across our area. That cold front is going to kick things off. We'll be a little warmer Saturday. Get a little more cloud cover than breaks. And then more cloud cover moving as that cold front moves through our region. Kicking off the showers and storms. Tonight will be a warm night as well. Windy conditions, that's all going to lead to temperatures staying into the 70s. Maybe not even getting into the 60s as we go into the next five days. Which looks up and down for us temperature-wise. But cooler thanks to that rainfall. Rain chances starting off Saturday night. To recap it all, and then best chance Sunday, looking scattered throughout the day into Monday as well, wrapping up by Tuesday, and then we slowly warm back up into next weekend, back into the 90s we go. We'll be back with more KSN News.